Hello everybody out there. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back. These are the pieces that I did for my dad over the last two videos for his birthday, which is coming up in just a couple of days. So I'm hoping they all dry before then. I have to crank up the temperature in the room and just let it dry, let them sit out and let them dry. But I wanted to uh, do one more. I really liked these colors. I still have some left and I was thinking what I would do is make this a three-parter. I'm going to do a long one here, uh, same colors obviously, but this one is going to be abstract. I'm going to uh, have a little more fun with this. Uh, it's not going to be a Dutch. I don't want to do a Dutch. Um, I'm just going to kind of move the paint around a little bit and see what happens and go from there. So he can have a nice big something in the middle of the wall that he said he's clearing off for just my paintings. He's proud father. <laughs> he's good dad, I'll tell you that much. So let's get to it. So as you can see, I have already prepped the canvas here and I have left on a fairly generous amount of white um, because I'm going to be moving paint around. I'm going to need to move it around a lot. So I need to have extra on there so that it can flow, you know, dry canvas, it'll stick, it won't go anywhere, it'll stutter, that kind of thing. So I put extra paint on here just for that purpose of being able to maneuver it a little better. And if I, if I blow it with my mouth, it does help, um, you know, kind of like a Dutch. That's why you put the extra paint around there so that you can, it'll flow. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to go back over to let you guys know, I have folk art, pure gold metallic. This is um, Apple Barrel Brown. My Merlot, which I am going to try really hard to duplicate because it's just fabulous. I'm loving that. Absolutely loving it. This is a, uh, I think it's neutral gray, um, but some of it was, there was a, there's been a drip that I picked up, but it's mostly neutral gray. And that would be um, Fine Touch neutral gray. <clears throat> And this is that 50-50 mix of Sargent Art and Fine Touch Black. And then, of course, uh, the base is Fine Touch Titanium White.
that's also another reason why I want to have extra paint of the white on here because when I scrape it it can leave a line there that just goes right down to the canvas and you don't want to not have paint there so Look at this over here. That is just way too cool. I need to figure out how to get rid of some of this black because it just pulls the eye and I don't want it to do that. And there's this weird line right here. I don't, I must have messed up with my thing. So I'm going to get rid of that. Try to pull it through the black so that. I like how that looks, so I'm not going to mess with that now. I don't have more cells down here. I don't know why that's bothering me that I don't have cells. Hold on. Let's try something here. Now, here's a little tip. You can make cells appear where you want them to. If you know that it can already make cells, what you do, you gotta be real careful about it, is you take a torch to the area you want it to open up and you get a little too close. You almost burn it. And what it does is it creates kind of a hockey surface. So it does tend to bring out cells. You gotta be careful. There is a point at which it will burn and it just, it's not good. But this is so soft up here and so dramatic down there. I like that I basically like everything from here that way I'm not gonna scrape it I don't I'm not gonna scrape if anything I'll just add paint and fix this but I like the flow of the whole thing all right forgive me everybody if this is where you think I should stop but <laughs> I just can't I can't I can't I can't
how I just did that? I saw that there were cells under there. So I hit it just a little closer. And this way I can balance the painting out with the cells a little bit. Fingers crossed that they'll keep developing as it's sitting here. And go easy on it at first because you might get surprised at how how many cells will pop out of there. So you gotta kinda get used to um, how your paint works. You'll get there, you will. Um, it's just a matter of you know how thick your paint is, how thin your paint is, that'll tell you how much you need to burn it. And it, it, it will, it'll, it'll all come to you, it will. with this now. I really like it. You just, and like I said in the other video, you just gotta work with it till you like it. And for me right now, there's there's a balance I can see now uh, with the, the red and the black and like a dramatic up top and dramatic down there, but there is still some of that soft, uh, the, some of the softer lines in there too, which I really like. So I'll bring the camera down and give you a close up and I can't wait till these things dry. I just, I want to get them done for my dad and get the, get the epoxy on top of it. I'm just so glad that I got a chance to do these colors and that I actually put them together like this. So, okay, happy painting. <laughs> just turned off the camera so um, this is uh, not that is right after I stopped so these cells right here will probably open just a little more those are the ones that I actually created with the torch there's some more down there different from the rest of it because of that gray I think kind of muted some of it so the ones that are popping up are awesome <laughs> and here's more I made those right there with the torch added those a little bit right in through here so I can get some more you can see how they're coming out You want to get close, but you can't because then it goes out of focus. <laughs> so, all right, we will let that dry. And I, goodness, Dad, I love you. Happy birthday.